A strong earthquake can topple buildings, but researchers don't fully understand the dangers of skyscrapers that sway during a quake. Some in western Japan put up a multi-story steel frame building, then shook it until it collapsed. NHK World's Masaki Otake has more. The Great East Japan earthquake of March 11, 2011 caused tall buildings in Tokyo, 390 kilometers from the epicenter, to sway back and forth. They moved so much that people inside them were unable to stand. This high-rise building in Osaka, 770 kilometers away, shook too. The top floor swayed as much as three meters. This dangerous cycle is called long-period ground motion. It can have a serious effect on a building's structure. Japan has about 2,500 buildings that are 60 meters high or taller. No one knows exactly how well they can withstand major quakes and how they may crumble under pressure. Research engineers from a national institute performed a test at a site in Hyogo Prefecture. Together with construction firms, they built a 25-meter-tall steel structure. The scale model is of a building 20 stories and 75 meters high. The testers put the building through the range of motion that's expected in Tokyo or Osaka when an expected magnitude 9 quake strikes the Nankai Trough in the Pacific Ocean. The movement is about twice as intense as authorities estimated when they set Japan's quake resistance standards. The force made the structure's top story sway more than 61 centimeters. That translates to 180 centimeters in a 75 meter skyscraper. But the building did not collapse, although pillars and beams on its mid floors were severely distorted. The researchers then turned up the swaying an intensity four times stronger than expected under Japanese standards produced extreme twisting in the lower floors, causing the structure to fail. We were able to collect important data as we could actually see the whole process through to the collapse of the building. The researchers say they'll use the test results to study ways to strengthen walls and ceilings. They also plan to develop technology to quickly check building safety. Masaki Otake, NHK World.